Okay, so I did promise you guys that we would finish off the portrait unit. So we did eyes, we did nose, we did mouth, and we did ears. What I want to show you guys, I want to screen share um, a really interesting Chrome tab, and it's this one right here. Now, this is a shopping website for sunglasses, or sorry, normal glasses. It's called Zenny Optical. And basically, it's a really great example of showing face shape. So over here, we have oval, we have round, we have square, we have diamond, we have pear and heart, and I'm sure there's other shapes. Well, these are really cool. I found this website, and I did order some glasses from here as well. Uh, they do have, uh, I think they have women's shape, head shapes as well. Again, oval, round, square, diamond, pear, and heart. So it does work for both genders, which is great. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop sharing that, and then I'm gonna point my camera down so you guys can see uh, what I have for you guys here for today. All right, here we go. Let me change it to 720p. All right, so if you wanna pin me, that's fine. And if you don't wanna follow along, you don't have to, because I will be working a little bit fast. So from those uh, glasses website, you guys understand that there are different types of head shapes. There's oval, there's circular, there's triangular, there's even heart, uh, there's even square, and some other ones that I probably don't remember. There's pear, I think. So those are the different types of head shapes that you guys probably have not gotten used to. Maybe if you look at a yearbook or something, you can probably notify, or you can probably play a game by seeing which head shape is which. But for us, I want to make sure that we finish off the portrait unit by combining like uh, the mouth and the ear, the eyes, the nose, all into one picture so you guys know how to combine them all. Now, we did talk about this last year. This is just a reflector. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an oval. And again, if you want to follow along, then great. If you don't want to follow along, you don't have to. The important part is, is that you're watching and you understand where everything goes. All right, so when drawing a portrait, a realistic portrait, not a cartoon, uh, not a cartooning portrait, is all you gotta do is you're gonna draw a line in the middle completely in half. That's gonna be where your eyes go. Then I'm gonna draw a line down the middle so we stay symmetrical. Now the next line is gonna go from the middle line to the chin. This line is where, believe it or not, the bottom of your nose is. No, you don't draw in the you don't draw in the workbook. I'm gonna talk about the workbook later. It's right here. Good question. Okay, so from the middle line right, so from this line right here to the chin, I'm gonna go two thirds of the way down. I'm gonna go right here, the line, and there. Those are the only lines that you really need to start off your portrait of how to put things together. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start off with the eyes first. So I'm gonna place my eyes relatively in good spots. So maybe right here. I have a good spot probably. And then I try to make it equal distance from the middle. So I'll probably put my next one right here. And then quickly, I'm just gonna do the iris. We talked about this earlier. Now I'll draw the pupil with the highlight. Here's the pupil. Highlight, pupil, there you go. And then I think I have time. Why don't I get a colored pencil? Now let's use a crayon, it's fine. Draw the iris, maybe I'll have green eyes maybe, like that. Okay, mm -hmm. now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over where the eyebrows would be placed. When it comes to eyebrows, if you look at a mirror, I'm pretty sure I went over this last year, but basically where the eyebrows start is where the inside corner of your eyes are. So I'm gonna start right there and start right there. So I'm just gonna kind of create a line this way. And then a line this way. I'm gonna try to make it as symmetrical as I can. There you go. All right, now, next step. I did say that this line right here was the bottom of the nose, so I'm gonna use my circle technique. Looks like a clown so far. But then, this is where the measurement starts again. We did talk about this last year. The inside of your eye is actually the where your inside, uh, the outside of the nose starts. 
So I'm going to put my circle right here and my circle right here for the nose. In order to complete the nose, just got to draw a little bit more thicker like this. So here's the bottom of that first circle. And then the outside parts of those two circles and curve up. There you go. All right, here's another measurement. Um, the middle of the eyes, go all the way down. Oops, that's a bad angle. Here and here, they are the corners of your lips. One right here, one right here. So if I just draw my line like that, that's the middle of the mouth. And then here's the bottom of the lip here. Let's kind of guess where it is. There's no measurement for that one because everyone's different. Middle of the mouth, or sorry, the top lip. There you go. There. So now it does have a lot of lines going on. I'll erase everything later because I do want to make sure you guys understand that this is all correct. All right. So the ears go over here. And they're a lot larger than you think. And they're one of the only parts of your body that continues to grow. If you guys did not know that, that's a fact. Your ears will continue to grow as you get older while the rest of your body will stop growing. There we go. Quick ear. I don't want to do the whole detail of the ear. I don't have time. Because right now it's only 10.23. 10.23, I have seven minutes with you guys still. Okay, so there's the ear. Now I did talk about the head shapes. So this is where it comes to play with the top of the head and then the bottom of the head. So if it's like a round shape, then you kind of keep this shape. If it's more of an oval, I'd go down lower a tad bit. If it's more square, like this, I'll probably give it more of a chiseled look. So maybe that's like this, and I go over more like that. But um, I'm going to try to go for more of maybe like a heart shape. So I'd round out the cheeks a little bit more like that. All right, that's the best I could do. OK, so it does look kind of strange because a lot of people are saying that the eyes are too low. That's not true. So I'm going to add the hairline, and they'll go from there. So most people's hairline are right here. And I'm going to draw a line up here so they kind of curve in more. Like this. Kind of go down like that. So that's the hairline. So it kind of looks like a boy right now. But now all you got to do is draw the hairs coming away from the hairline. So maybe I go from here. I just draw some parts of the hair parting away like this. Then they go this way. That maybe. It's parting this direction. So one way is parting this way, one part that way. There we go. So now what's happening is that the hair is taking up the majority of that oval that we initially drew before. That's what's happening right now. So now you can kind of get a gist of what's going on. If you want to add the neck, you can. Um, there is a rule on placement when it comes to the neck, but we'll talk about that some other time. There we go. All right. So now, if I just take an eraser of some sort and erase all those detailed lines that I did before, such as dividing the oval in half and doing all the measurements for where the start of the mouth is, where the beginning of the nose is, the circle of the noses, if I erase all that, it'll start to make more sense. Here we go. And here we go. All right. There we are. Ta-da. Face. OK, with that said, um, <laughs> thanks for the clapping. OK, with that said, the workbook, um, I don't want to work on it today. But um, what you want to do is you want to make sure that we are aware of the elements of art. We'll talk about this briefly next week. We'll be talking about the principles of design, which is fourth grade, what their main focus is. But then we're going to be working on value. Value is going to be really important, and we're going to make sure that we do this worksheet next week. Okay? So make sure we have this workbook. If you don't have it, try to find it, and I will make sure that there is a printable version of that later on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my camera around so you guys can see me. And if there's anyone that would want to share artwork that they did not get to share last week, I will take volunteers. It doesn't have to be from art. It could be from, I don't know, the summer. It could be from week 
two, week three, week four. Anyone have any artwork to share that you want to share with everyone? William, would you like to unmute yourself and share? Yes, I would. Okay, great. Oh, you did the grid tree project. Awesome. This is the warm and cold, cool color thing. Yeah, it looks great. I thought I did pretty good. Yeah. Uh, fifth grade, they normally do that for uh, Square One Art, which is really good, or the art show. Anyone else have anything to share? Anyone else? It doesn't have to be from art. It could be from something else. It could be from a project. Miss um, Pross, you see any other hands up or anything? Um, Landon has his hand up. Okay, I do not see Landon. Landon, would you like to share? Yeah. Like, I uh, did this painting um, during uh, the summer. Okay, cool. And, I, uh, it's, uh, I did Tyrantrum, the Pokemon. Oh, that's really that's a good start. That's really good. That's I, really good. Um, I was copying a picture, though. So. That's okay. Every artist copies some picture. All right, time now is 128. I do have time for maybe a few more. I'm going to pick uh, Aviaka. Oh, where did I put it? <laughs> it's okay. Oh. Um, hey, Aviaka, while we wait for you, uh, Adam, <laughs> do you want to share with something? While Aviaka gets it? I caught I caught a three foot catfish over the summer. Oh, okay, great. Uh, I think I saw Riley's hand up. Riley, Miss. I have uh this. It's all of my actual. I traced my actual calendar that I have down here. Uh, oh wow! And I put a bunch of stuff down here and. Oh, that's that's art. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Aviaka, how are we doing? Did you find it yet? <laughs> I think he's. I, I see him looking. All right. I think we have. Uh, all right. The time now, unfortunately, is one thirty. Aviaka, we're gonna have to get to you uh, next time. All right. So with that said, it is one thirty. I can't hold anyone else back. So I'm gonna ask you guys to sign off. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. I'm outside, okay? I know. We got to go, though. I apologize. We'll do you next time. Bye, guys. Yep. Yeah.